Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome back to our Pokemon X Egglock. If you guys are enjoying the series, please do show some love to that like button down below. 200 likes would be greatly appreciated. Really does help out the video channel, all that good stuff. And again, thank you guys so much for the insane support you guys have shown to the series so far. I'm having so much fun recording it. You guys seem to be enjoying it, so just thank you again for that. I really, really do appreciate guys. But anyway, in the last episode, we hatched a Cyndaquil, and we also beat the Professor, all that stuff. And now we have another egg that we need to hatch, which I'll probably hatch very, very soon. Um... But yeah, we're going to carry on with the game now. We're on Route 5. We haven't probably got any more encounters for a while. But anyway, my goodness. Pokemon herds are certainly intense. Yeah, they're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, Tiano, do you ever think about anything besides dancing? Nope. Even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. And then my feet just starting moving, too. I can't help it, you know. Like with Source Dance, I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. Oh, hey, it's HTV. On your Pokemon, know any sweet moves? Show me in a battle. Oh, okay. All right, I'll do that. I mean, I've got, like, you know, Cyndaquil who's going to destroy you. You're going to start dancing? A Corphish. Oh. That's why I need an electric type or a grass type. Because water type Pokemon just... I don't really have anything for them. Yes, Cyndaquil. Looking nice and powerful. i got to get out of here, though. Oh, Cyndaquil is just the best thing ever. Right, let's go into... Let's just go into Nightmare. Nightmare is literally all I have for water types. And even Nightmare doesn't have anything good against water types. If we go up against, like, a really, really good water type, I'm not doing great. I just need an electric type Pokemon. I just do. I just do. I just need one. Vice grip. Don't affect me, dude. Right. Hit him up with that faint attack. You know, the faintest of attacks. Boom. Damage. Good. Swords dance. I. Right. Someone's dancing. Someone's dancing. I appreciate if you don't, but you're doing. So stop, please. Faint attack. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Boom. Corfish is gone. And give me that juice experience points. 159. Not bad. Inferno level 11. That's what I like to see. Just need to get Inferno up a couple more levels. I mean, we're gonna, we might actually get some evolutions this episode. I'm not too sure. The fist bump. Um, I mean, Piplum is pretty close to evolving. Inferno technically is as well. Good to see you, HDV. Excuse me, I'm in HD. It really does seem as though Tierno can, can only think about dancing and moves. When a horde of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Trevs. Coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream, after all. I was born to dance. I won't even stop, not with moves like this. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should just show as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. It's good to be serious about some things. Oh, uh, HV, do take this honey, won't you? Thank you. Horde encounters are going to be crazy. You see, using honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear. Though if you're going to do a challenge a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets. Alright, see you guys. Uh, let's go this way now. No, the Pokemon battle right in front of me. Gonna get a Quilava soon. Where we going? Where we going? Another Dodo duo. Do -do -do -do. I mean, hordes. We could get shiny in a horde. You don't know. Could definitely happen. Can I run? Nice. I love Cynical. Cynical is just like the cutest thing ever. Like, oh, I love Cynical. Just imagine if we got Charmander though. I'm just thinking. Oh, one generation too late. But I'm I'm okay with the Cynical. This is why we need Mega Typhlosion, Game Freak. It's why we need it for situations like this. This is kind of scary, actually. I don't want to stay in here with my Cyndaquil. Kadabra is hard, man. And I do have a Dark type anyway, so. And it's level 13. Yeah, this thing's going to destroy me if I. Because we've got Nightmare, man. Because he's going to hit me with like a confusion right now. And it's going to do a lot of damage. And I'm not about that. Let's go in here. Let's go in with Nightmare. Pressure. I'm asserting it. I'm asserting it. Yeah, don't affect me, dude. I already know you're going to do that. I'm going to hit me with one of these. Kinesis. Kodamura. Kodamura. And what's that doing? My accuracy is falling. That's not great. Catch one of these. That is one dead Kadamara. Guys, it's going to be a lot of experience though. 390. That's what I'm talking about. Nightmare level 15. Good. Boom. 390 for Inferno as well. Going to get up two levels. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. And you want to learn... I didn't even know Quill. I've got Quick Attack. Uh, let's get rid of Lear. Because Smoke Screen could be super, super useful later on down the road. You know, if we come up against something that we just can't beat... And then I've got someone with smoke screen. I'm all about that life. Right, let's go down the uh, this thing to get this item. Will I don't know if that gets eggs up, uh, the the egg hatching up or not, but soup potions definitely something that I'm all about. So let me put that in my little bag. Let's do some moves as well. Cones. Right. Okay. We're back. I love the fact that you can like boost up your speed as well. That's just helping out, like, helping me with egg hatching so much is, you don't understand, guys. You do not understand. 
What's this? A fur throw? You see, I could kill this thing and get like a ton of XP. But this thing's probably going to kill me as well. So I don't really want to get be dealing with that. Yeah, I couldn't get away. Great. Um, That's going to do a lot of damage. See, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Got away safely. Verfro is so good at the start of games. He's really good in Ultra Sun and Moon. You, get him on, really, you can get him really, really early in Ultra Sun and Moon. He is such a good Pokemon. Uh, okay, we're going here. Oh! Hatching already! I'm all about that! That wasn't even with Flame Body. Why did that hatch so quick? Maybe somebody... Oh, people, you guys probably have already, like, done a lot of steps. That's probably why when the eggs hatch that quick. What we got, though? Another Vulpix? Isn't that just species? Isn't that just dupes, then? Yeah, I think that's just... I think that's just dupes. So we can hatch another, right? We've got so many fire types. I'm hoping someone hasn't hatched, like... <laughs> I'm hoping someone hasn't, like, just bred, like, a ton of Vulpixes and then just sent me all of them, trying to get it in the... Because uh, I did I did say that you guys can send me more than one egg. Uh, I, I did make it clear that I would like different eggs, not all the same Pokemon. Um, hopefully, that's just, like, a big coincidence. It wasn't near the other egg, Vulpix egg, was it, on the, on the, the team, so... I'm not sure... I think that might have just been a big coincidence. It's down here, isn't it? The Pokemon Center. However, that was dupe, so. <clears throat> so I can hatch another one, which is great. That's good. I'm all about that. I should have known it was going to be a Vulpix. It hatched in like, like... All my Vulpix eggs have hatched like super quick. Right. Um, I'm just going to take... Right, let's just put Tails here. Modest with Flash Fire. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's the same. I think it was from the same person because they're both in Premier Balls. So... Yeah. I mean, if I'm going to use another Vulpix, it's going to be this one because it's modest, but I feel like they're definitely... Right, let's not choose a Premier Ball again. Are there any more Premier Balls? Let me just check real quick. There's one there. So I feel like that's going to be a Vulpix. Um, no more Premier Balls, it seems, though. So I just got to dodge the Premier Balls. Yeah, there's one Premier Ball left. I don't think that's Premier. Okay, so there's only one left. So I'm just going to take, like... I'm going to take this one. That's in a cool Pokeball. Um, but yeah. Wait. I'm going to just put this egg over here. So, just dodge the Premier Balls. So, I've probably got another Vulpix in the PC. So, um, whoever did send me three Vulpixes, thank you for taking part. I really do appreciate it. And it's okay. Like I say, it's not going to, you know, not going to be bad. It's just it's just a dupes Pokemon. Like, I just won't be able to use it. Da, 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 da. Wait, can I still use it or can I not use it? I don't know how it works if it's dupes. Because, like, I'm basically getting, like, an extra Pokemon if I use it. So I'm not sure if I can use it or not. I don't know how it works in that situation. Anyway, we, well, I mean, we have a Pokemon anyway. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much about natures in story. Like, it's not a huge problem. Is there anything over here? Must be something. There's got to be something down here. It's got to be something. Ooh. An Orem Berry. And then more on this tree? There's got to be more on this tree. They seem impossible to reach. What you oh, I bet there's an item on that rock. Hang on. I bet there's an item on that rock. I already guarantee there's an item on that rock. Right, okay. Here we go, skating down. I bet there's an item on this rock. There's not an item on this rock. <laughs> Great, okay. Never mind. It does my egg hatching anyway, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Plus, we have these roller skates, which just make going through every route so much easier. Right, so there's, there's trainers here. There's trainers here. She's skating. He's skating. Can I not? I've got, I've got to go through here. Oh, there's probably an item, so I do kind of want the items, you know? I'm all about that item life. Bum, bum, ba dum. Skiddo. I love Skiddo so much. I really hope I get a Skiddo in this Egglock. Right, uh, I'm not going to take it out. There's no, not really a need. I have literally, like, no experience on Inferno. I think it got, like, an exact level up. It looks that way anyway. Uh, oh, wow, there's different ways to go. Let's go this way. Ooh. Home Claws. TMO1. That is what I'm talking about. All about honing those claws. Get your get your claws out. Right, let's battle this dude real quick. Get him thrown up another level. Well, I probably won't actually be fair because he's only just got level 13. So, I'm looking for some 13. Bum, ba da, Bidoof. Bidoof has a really cool cry. That was a bad, a cynical cry. Level 12, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't matter. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Hit him up with the tackle. How much is ground? I mean, ground doesn't matter. It's because I always have, like, the... I don't know about you guys, but I always have, like, the best move that my Pokemon knows in, like, the first slot. 
Oh wow, Cynical looks so cool when he uses Ember. He just like shoots flames at his butt. That's a bit too much damage. I'm not about that. Uh, let me hit him with another Ember. I do outspeed, so I should be able to take this thing out. But Right, don't you dare crit me. Don't you dare crit me. That's scary. I have Quick Attack. Quick Attack will kill from here. I'm getting a bit risky now. Okay, Bidoof is gone. Sweet. New that experience. 127, that's not great. An oddish. Ah, uh, kind of want to stay in here and just level up. Okay, I'm going to stay in here and just potion. Oddish, oddish. Right, bag. Where's my HP PP restores at? Potion. Drop that on Cynical's head. Ding. Oh, just, I'm so glad I got a Cynical, man. Cynical is such a cool Pokemon. Acid, don't you dare poison me. Don't you dare poison me after I've just healed up. That does too much. Stop. Right, uh, I'm going to Ember. How much is this going to do? Hopefully it's a two-hit KO. It's a two-hit KO. Sweet scent. I was a little bit scared then after I clicked Ember that it was going to acid me again and poison me, and then the poison would finish me off, but luckily that's not the case. And I'm not losing Cynical anytime soon, because I really, really like Cynical. There we go. Oddish has fainted. Oddish, Oddish. Only 136. That's not great, though. It's not great at all. Dun, ba -dun, dun, ba -dun. I could just use those trainers that I missed to just grind up on, like, when I'm just grinding off screen. Uh, so we're going down here now. There's a hiker. There's an item down there which I kind of want to get. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need to. I don't need to get every trainer either. Oh, I know. As I say that, there's a trainer. Wait, oh, there's HMs in this game, isn't there? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. What do you got? A Pan Sage. God, all these grass types. Go Inferno. Hit him with that Ember. Well, I think this thing has Fury Swipes, and it's level 12. So I'm going to potion up, because I don't feel safe at all being on half my HP. I don't want to lose Cyndaquil. I don't want to lose Cyndaquil. I don't want to I don't want to lose Cyndaquil at all. At all. Banana. Right. Fight. Ember. Boom. Damage. I'm all about that. Vine Whip. Ugh. Okay, that's it. You've annoyed Cyndaquil. Take one of these. And there goes the Pantage. That should be a decent bit of XP. That should get me to 14. Should get me to 14. The word there being should. And it does. Yes. In, in, yeah, no, English. Level 14. Wait, Cyndaquil evolved to 14, right? Are we already getting a Quilava? It does. Oh, I don't want to lose Cyndaquil already. I feel like he's barely been a part of the team for not long at all, but... Oh, Cyndaquil, I, I almost don't want to. I almost want to press B, you know? I almost want to press B, but having a call off would be really good. Would be really, really good. Okay, yeah, call off is pretty cool. He never uses any, like, he never gets the flame out of his back or anything, though. He's always there just chilling. You gonna learn a move? No. Okay, that's fine. Call off is cool, though. I'm about call off. I'm all about that call off life. Uh... Dodge this. Is there an item here? Oh, no. Gotta have that cut HM. We're not in the world of ride pages anymore, guys. Right, now we're in Camphrey Town. Holo clip received. Who's this? Thank you for using the Holocaster. Lissandri Labs developed the Holocaster to make the lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. We hope you'll continue and enjoy the finders, find services this device Thank you. I can't English. I need to heal, though, and I need to... Hatch this egg at some point as well. I might go hatch this egg now, to be fair, now at the Pokemon Center. Might go do that. Although I don't want a cutscene to happen, like, around where I am now. So. Really excited to hatch this Pokemon, though. Really, really excited. I'm not sure if a cutscene's going to happen, because I don't want to go around the town and then a cutscene to happen. So let's just go. Let's just have a little ride around, see if any cutscenes happen. I don't think any will. I feel like I can't go this way yet, can I? The castle. Wait, am I already getting get Mega Evolution like this early? Right, just don't go in the castle. I think I have to go to the castle first. Okay, so I don't think any cutscene is going to activate. Is there an encounter down here? No, but there's something. There's an item. Star piece. Yes, that is money that I do enjoy getting. That is definitely money that I do enjoy getting. Right, so I think I'm going to hatch this Pokemon, guys. 
Let me just go get a flame body real quick. But I shall be back, guys, as soon as this egg hatches. So I shall see you momentarily. And we are back. That was actually a really, really quick egg hatch. So I'm hoping it's not another Vulpix. But anyway, it's in a different Pokeball. Shouldn't be a Vulpix. Let's see what we're going to get. I'm very, very excited to see what this... Come on, just be, just be an electric type. Please, fingers crossed for an electric type. I'm just going to try and guess the cry. That sounds like a Dratini. That is a Dratini. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I've got so many of the same types. Do I have a Dratini? Do I keep Rex? <sighs> I don't know what I do anymore. I don't know what to do. I think I keep Rex. <sighs> Dratini and Dragonite just aren't really good until they're a Dragonite. Whereas Rex evolves at 40 and Tyrantrum is really good in this game. So I think... <sighs> I don't know, man. I've got so much power already. I'm just getting the same types all the time, though. I don't know what to call this thing. Um, let's just call it Kudos, because I always, I always call my Dragonite Kudos since like the first ever LP I did on my channel. Kudos. Oh, Dratini. I also came here as well, just because it's easier to hatch Pokemon here. Because uh, there's more like space to go around. Dodge him. Oh, yeah. Who's not going to get any experience? Kolar ain't going to get any experience. It's fine. It's fine. I'll take him out. He's only got one Pokemon. It's all good. It's all good. A Sentra, that's fine. Man, but i got to go put Kolava back in my team. Oh, no. We're in here with the Flame Body. Okay, this ain't great at all. Um, I don't want to use it, obviously. So I'm going to lose some experience here, but that's fine. It's annoying. It's all good. It's all good. All right, come in with Rex. Scratch. Uh. Right, stomp. I need Rex to learn a good move. I need I need you to learn a dragon type move to keep you in the team because you are a dragon type, my dude. That's some damage though, yeah, but I mean Rex just hits things hard, man. And he's gonna he's gonna become such a good Pokemon as well. I, I love Rex, man. And I've never really used one as well. I kinda like doing these LPs just to use Pokemon that I've never really used before. And I've never really used a Tyrantrum or a Tyrant at all, so and I use Dragonite so many times in the past. Plus level 55 for a Dragonite. You know, that's a that's a long way away. Yep, great. Realm Hodder's growing those levels. And I'd feed the Sentry. Okay. Bum, ba, dum. So, that's a level 21 Flame Body now. Great. Right, let's just go through here. Go down here. Dodge all that grass. And then we're going to go to the castle. Going to take Dratini out first. Who is my other team member? Did I have another team member? Or did I just have Vulpix in here? Yeah, I think I just had Vulpix, didn't I? Do I just keep Vulpix in my team, then? Do I just... Oh, it's got Marvel Scale. Has Dragon Dance, E-Speed, and Aqua Jet. Oh, my lord. That is a good Pokemon. That priority, though. I don't know what I do. I don't. I might just. I might just keep Dratinian. Do I do it? But I'm ne he's never gonna be a Dragonite. Kudos is never gonna be a Dragonite. No, nah, I'm gonna put Vulpix in. Cause yeah, the priority is good, but he's at level one, and I'm not. I'm not putting the XP share on right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna put Kudos. I'm just gonna put Vulpix back in. Things happen, man. But that is a very, very good hatch. Um, and I'm going to put the other Vulpix down here just because it was dupes. I'm not sure if I can use that. So I'm just going to put this one down here. But we do have a Dratini in the back in case anything happens. So um, These eggs, guys, are wild. That Dratini hatched relatively quickly, it says a pseudo. I would not have expected that to hatch that quickly at all. Anyway, Hish, uh, Shauna. Hi, HD. Hey. An acquaintance of yours. Two visits to Shabunuru Castle? I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle chateau, if you will, was a manor house of a noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone. So that's why it feels so empty. The end. That's it? Don't you have anything related to Mega Revolution? That's it. What in the world is Mega Revolution? Um, bit orcs. Oh, he's appeared. Sir, it's back again. Is it that time of year already? Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time and have a look around. So there's actually nothing in this castle. I don't know what that's about. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? That's another encounter. All I'm hearing is that's another encounter. That's all I'm hearing. 
all I am hearing. Route set. Oh, I remember. Oh, there's so many encounters this way, isn't there? Who's this dude? Oh, no, Shauna. Hey, Steve, they said they were going this way. No, I want to go up there. No. Oh. What's down here? Little squad. What are you guys doing? Uh. I I show you the yellow field work. Okay. No, I don't want to learn. Oh yeah, you just telling me how to plant berries. Okay. Yeah, give me some berries. I'm gonna just run now. Can I just run? Oh, thanks for the berries. I'm glad I did this. Yeah. Okay. The sprinkle to spring sprinkle tat sprinkle tat. I like that. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you for all the free stuff. I'm glad I came here. I'm very glad. Is there any items at like the the ends of the berry fields? Because they sometimes sneak. See, they sometimes sneak one. A miracle seed. Unfortunately, I have no grass types. But if I ever do hatch a grass type, that is something that I'm definitely going to be enjoying having. Uh, don't want to go into the house. I ain't got time for that. Let's go get this another Pokemon. Oh, it's a Snorlax. Hey, Steve, what is it? That thing is his mouth. He's not even breathing. Oh, wait, here he is. Here we go again. It's sleeping so soundly, the end of the world wouldn't wake it. Look, it's particularly a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely. Come now, sir. Use the pokey flute. Oh, wait, do you even have it anymore? Nope, I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. What? Huh? What's a pokey flute? Basically, the pokey flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But the pokey flute is currently at Parfum, Parfum Palace. Oh, that's it? All we need to do is go, go get it then. Come on, HD, let's go. The Parfum Palace is just past Route 6. Maybe at a place like that, we might learn something about Mega Revolution. We might do. Probably won't, but we might do. What we got over here then? Is that? Cheeky heel ball. More about that. Thank you. There we go. Right, so... Do I, is it here? This is Route 7 though, isn't it? No, this is Route 6. So there's nothing on Route 7, but there is something on Route 6. So whatever this is, we'll probably hatch it next episode. Wait, can I not... Can I not go in this grass? How do I go in the grass? I would like to go in the grass. How do I go in the grass? Oh, there's a little cheeky TM there. How do I go in the grass? Oh, that's a Pokemon. Does this count as the encounter? I guess this just counts as an encounter. I'm just going to count this as an encounter. A Venipede. Yeah, I'm just going to count this as the encounter just because it's technically on Route 7. Right, let me just... Okay, Stomp won't kill. You better not. Rex, don't be horrible. Oh, that's a lot. Poison thing, don't you dare poison me. Venipede. Sweet. Uh... Do I do another stomp? Yeah, it's just stomp again. Don't get a crit, please, Rex. Come on, Rex. Don't do it. Every time I say don't get a crit, Rex is like, hey, look at my big feet. Stomp. I should have tackled. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Oh, is there a count of this place? Okay, that's how we go down to that grass. I don't think there's an encounter in Firm Palace, though. Yeah, there ain't. There ain't one here. Um, let's go into the palace, then. This place looks fancy. The entrance view... A grass! I ain't going in here. No. I'm not going... I'm not paying a grand. Sure to pay for me. Are you serious? I didn't even get the decision. What if I didn't have a grand? I guess that's why they give you the star piece. Maybe if you don't have a grand, Shauna pays for you. I don't know. I wish I didn't. Uh, a grand? I don't even want to go into this palace. Like, I generally don't. Right, what we got going on? Okay, can't go that way. Okay, fair dues. I understand where you're coming from. I'm still heartbroken from that. A thousand Poke Dollars. Who's this kid that's offering that much money? Where is it? I don't know. Where could it be? That's a cool pilotic statue. My football. 
My beloved little fur frog has disappeared. Isn't there a gauntlet in this place? It disappeared. Hey, HD, we should help look. I mean, if my if my Pokemon were missing, I'd be sick with worry. Okay. I feel like there's a garden somewhere. Is it this way? Because if there's a garden in this encounter, I don't mind paying the ground. Ooh. I can't use my roller skates. Oh, I remember this bit. Oh, I remember this bit. You got it's kind of, kind of like the far fetched thing, isn't it? I think. And there's no grass, so there's no encounter. Right. There's an item there though. Are there trainers here? I don't know. I'm gonna pick this up. Dun, 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 dun. Got myself an antidote. Uh, Furfrau, where are you, buddy? Come on out now, Furfrau. There are many trainers in this place. Cool place to grind. I wish I had a bike or something. I have no idea where the fur fur fur. I swear, I swear Shona was like, I'm going to the back and I cannot see her. There's a couple of people there. She might be in the middle. Fur fur, are you in the middle? Nope, just loads of random people. I don't really need to battle anyone. I don't think these people, oh, there it is. Come here, fur fur. Come here. Let him hop away. Please don't run away. Hasty, give me a hand. Okay. Gotta trap him in there. Okay, we gotta trap him in there. Okay, that's easy. Easy enough. Well, I guess it's easier said than done. Over there. Over there. Let me know when you decide where I should stand. Uh. Where is it? Okay. You stand. Here. Right. Yeah, this place is okay. Got it. There we go. Keep going, Fur Frau. Okay. Do I... No, Fur Frau. I remember this. Can she only stay in one of these places? Yeah, come with me. Why are you here? Well, I don't know how to do it then. If he's gonna keep... Hang on. You wait there. You wait there. Yeah, this place is okay. And if I come from this angle, he ain't going anywhere. Okay, sweet. We got him up there. Nice. Yeah, you gotta move again. This way, Shauna. Up here. And I feel like right now it's there. So if I let you wait here. Shauna, wait, Shauna, yeah, he is fine, okay, and now if I come from this angle, there we go, we got it, see you later, fur frow. that's what I'm talking about, phew, well done, we finally caught it, I mean, I kind of did it, you just stood there, we caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel, oh, my dear fur frow, my beloved fur frow. could you be the two responsible for my wonderful, uh, my wonderful reunion with my dear fur frow? You say Wonderfrau reunion? Oh, wow. How Wonderfrau indeed. It's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall uh, put on a show. Boom, boom. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. I mean, you lost him in the garden. It wasn't difficult to find. It will also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to. Tiny bit? Dude. No. It took me a while. God. Who knew helping people could be such difficult work? Maybe for a friend, wouldn't be better off if we hadn't found it. If I were a Pokemon, I'd hate to have a trainer like that, but I really love fireworks, so let's make the best of it. But I think that's going to be everything for this episode, though, guys. So if you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like down below. I really, really do appreciate it. Remember my second channel, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, channel, let's go, Patreon. All of that is in the description down below if you want to check any of that out. But thank you once again for uh, watching this video, guys. I really do hope you did enjoy it. But that is it for me, guys. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, guys. Peace.